So we're staying at the Reflections Caravan Park at Wyangala Dam just to check it out. <music> Borrowed a teardrop trailer here to try that out too. So I'm just going to do a bit of kayaking, just a quick overnight stop, then head back home mid morning. It's a beautiful spot here. Not many people because it's a weekday today. And it's winter too, so it's sort of heading into the off season here. Most people would be here for summer for kayaking and fishing and water skiing and all that sort of thing. The caravan park's right on the Wyangala Dam, which we'll see in a minute. To do a quick shout out to Lou and Rodney, thanks for lending the trailer. So the teardrop's quite cute, it sleeps two people, it's got a little mini kitchen in the back, but it's just a basic little caravan, nice and light, easy to tow. Most vehicles can tow it, but obviously it doesn't have a toilet and shower and sink and all those other bigger luxuries that huge caravans have. It's got a little 12 volt battery system which is charged by the solar panels. So it's got internal lighting for the kitchen area under that little lid there and also lighting inside and you can also charge your phone or whatever in it too. But it's nice, quick, easy, light, simple setup for quick getaways. So that's a 12 volt battery system there. You can charge it with the Anderson plug if your car's got that while you're driving. Also by the solar panels. It's got a just a mini burner here. There's different trim levels of the Teardrop Camper Company. So this is sort of the base model, but you can get fancier ones with more features. Pull out cookers and things like that too. I hope you enjoyed this brief visit at Wyangala Dam. It's time to say goodbye to Wyangala Waters. <laughs>